If he had committed this crime, would it change how you felt about him? It's a hard question. I think if when I asked him if he had some involvement and he said yes, I, I think I would think differently as far as what I should be doing for my child and myself. Mm -hmm. I had asked him if he was involved and he said no. Mm -hmm. That's all I needed. And you believed him when he said it? Absolutely. There was no reason for me not to. Guilty of murder in the first degree. When you heard the verdict, what was your reaction? Oh, I was devastated. Completely devastated. My whole world changed. He's all I know. I right. was completely, completely devastated. And did you two look at each other in that moment? I don't think actually that I could look at him. I think I more or less buried my face in his mother's shoulder um, and we cried together. When was the first time you talked to him, saw him, made eye contact with him after the verdict? It definitely wasn't in that courtroom. I know I left very frantically. I couldn't stay for the sentencing. I just, I couldn't hear those words. But I, I would have to say the next encounter would have, have to have been a visit. Well, how did your life change when he went to prison? No, oh, it did a whole, <laughs> was a whole, upside down twist, everything changed. He wasn't there anymore, financially, emotionally, it was hard. How difficult a transition was this for him to go from you know, being out in the world and beautiful home, affluent lifestyle, to all of a sudden being locked up in a cage, locked up in a cell? Right, I'd say it was difficult, of course. Did his celebrity status work for him or against him in prison? I would say both ways, but I think it, it worked for him in a sense where people could, um, I don't know, he had something to talk about, something to give individuals that may not have experienced that lifestyle. When you visited him, what did you guys talk about? We never really spoke about anything, any of, I guess, the drama filling our life. Um, it was more or less like the happy times, what we used to do, AVL mostly. So, I mean, it was just, we tried to keep it positive. Was he a jealous type? I mean, he's in jail and right. you're a beautiful woman out in the world. Was he ever worried about you or what you might be doing? Well, jealous, yeah, I, I guess that's fair. But um, my loyalty, I, I assured him there was nothing to worry about. You're still wearing your engagement ring. I am. It's a beautiful, beautiful ring. Thank you. You're wearing it now is certainly a sign of your loyalty to him. Of course, always. Even now, will right. you always wear that ring? I'll always have it with me, and I plan on passing it down to AVL when it's time to. Mm -hmm. You changed your name to Hernandez, but yet you never actually got married. Why not? We didn't get married, obviously, for a number of reasons, right. but I changed my name for the simple fact that, you know, we were a family, and I'm very strict on that. And my daughter, you know, as learning her name, she learned mine and she learned daddy's and um, my last name was different. So now she knows me as, you know, Shanna Hernandez instead of Shanna Jenkins. Yeah, she's how old now? She's four. What's her relationship with Aaron through the time? Did you take her to see him? I did. And how did that go? We would try to go once a week, sometimes twice, depending on the circumstances and, and whatnot. I mean, I wouldn't say it was normal. It was her normal, um, so she knew no different. As far as their interaction, it was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So she was very much a, a daddy's girl. But she could sit in his lap and she could, talk yes. to him. Yeah, color, play what cards. What did that mean to him? Oh, a lot. Yeah, he was absolutely in love. So, and I mean, when I was there, it was like, you know, when we were all together, he was focused on her, so it's kind of like I was just the chaperone in a sense. Yeah, you were the um, plus one. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But I mean, it was fine. I, I adored it. We had our time. But yeah, when when she was there, you know, she took over and she demanded attention. That's for sure. Does she have a comprehension of the fact that he was in jail for doing something that he shouldn't do? No, she has no idea, and I won't tell her until she decides right. to ask or if she asks. She thought Daddy was at work. That's how we kept it. She knows nothing about jail, prison, or any of that stuff. I try to keep her in a whole positive direction. If you have a story or a question for me, click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.